closed. Yeah. Yes, we are, we are doing secret, secret uh, festival. Oh, a secret festival. Secrets are always best, don't they? Yes. <laughs> All right. Anityananda Das Prabhu, our valiant translator. So uh, I believe that today also there will be translation in two, into Russian and from Russian because we have Rishikesh, Shripad Rishikesh Maharaj with us. And he understands heart language, but a little rough on the English language at the moment. But heart language he understands. Okay, so if we go to East London, we have to wear this, is it? <laughs> All right. Follow the rules, the rules and regulations. And where's up? Where are the rest of our Thailand back to Vrinda? Thailand back to Vrinda? Try Lokanath Prabhu, Dandavat. We are fewer today at the moment anyway. I'm sure we're going to pick up in a few minutes. So we're able, happily able to give some uh, individual greeting to everybody. And Ravindranath, the Ravindra Krishna and family. Very good. Okay, I didn't do it. I didn't cut myself off. Oh, we see infinity media. We see the Thailand temple. We can see flowers arranged very beautifully there. Nityanandruza, yes. And Audarya Leela David Asi. Also, we can still recognize you even with your mask. And today we are inside today, but you are still outside. Oh, maybe you're inside too. I'm not sure. Nirupama Devirasi. Jai. Haribol, Haribol. And West London Matt coming together, the devotees there. And Pandita Rasamoy Pandita Devirasi, maybe in your home at this time. Sulakshana. Keeping all of China connected. Indu Laker in Texas, Nama Priya Devi Rasi, Mahamantru, Danishta, Pavan Krishnavu, Bhakti Lalita Devi Rasi. I, I was there for your whole morning class, Bhakti Lalita, this morning. Yeah. I was there for it all quietly on the shelf while you were talking and participating or hearing the bhajans before that happily. And Moscow, Lachta Temple. And sometimes we are able to come and see your program there in the, in the Lakta Temple, Mahavir Maharaj giving class. Giridhari Prabhu in Hungary, also there. And I can't read Russian, so you're <laughs> going to have to excuse me for not catching the Russian. And Purushottam Prabhu, yes, very good. Dandavat. Krishna, Krishna, and Bira Chandra. Okay, Russian and two languages now available. So, devotees are coming together in Sankalpa Didi, so, uh, Supriya, our Chinese section of devotees also coming together. Dear English speaking viewers, uh, speaker, if we have multiple devices with uh, audio on, we'll get a feedback loop or a delay. All right, here's an here's a, a interesting uh, instruction from the all from the uh, organizers, not the organizers, those who are making it all possible. Yes, dear English speaking viewers, when some of our guests speak Russian. You, English-speaking viewers, can choose Russian language at the bottom of the screen and Nityananda Das Prabhu will translate from Russian into English for you. Okay? Very good. And Dai Shilabhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj, 
Very happy. We were with you throughout the whole of your program today. Your speech, Srila Avadut Maharaj's speech, the Arati, the Puja, everybody, all of us here sending our obeisances, all nourished Maharaj, happily. Hare Krishna. Our honor and privilege to attempt in some small way to glorify Srila Guru Maharaj. Um, shall we begin? Or you do your part? You give the signal when we should begin. All right. Well, Marsh, the devotees literally just now more or less have come together. Mm -hmm. Our usual like five or six or seven minutes just to yes. uh, have the gathering come together. And still I see one by one coming in. So first of all, let us give obeisances to each other. We've all come together to glorify Srila Guru Maharaj and this special, on this special day of his Sri Vyasa Puja. So first of all, our obeisances and to each other, Vancha Kalpa Tarubhya Sha, Kripa Sindhubhya Eva Sha, Patitanam Pavanevyo, Vaishnavevyo Namo Namaha. And especially to our dear Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj, our obeisances, and to Srila Bhakti Sevan Rishikesh Maharaj, who is with us, uh, our obeisances, and is Srila Bhakti um, uh, uh, Shri Avadut Maharaj, is he with you? He'll be coming. He's on Avadut time. He's on Avadut time, okay. <laughs> and of course, back to Bhima Avadut, please excuse. I yeah. was going through the boxes and trying to speak at the same. Multitasking is not a very good thing to try to do. So Maharaj, yes, the devotees have come together in his Wonderful to see so many devotees together. Praneshwari Devidas has also come. She is with us, always keeping an eye on us, mother of the devotees, looking after the devotees all over the world, actually. She's a timeless lady. She knows no time. No time is inconvenient for her. All right, so today... We are not doing Parikrama just as during our regular gatherings for Kartik, for Kartik in Vrindavan. On this day of Srila Guru Maharaj's Vyasa Puja, we are not going out of the temple basically at all. It's the day to be in the temple and uh, to prepare for the festival, to participate in the festival, to participate in the prasadam then and the distribution of prasadam, the cleaning oh, up know. of prasadam. It's like a full, it is a full day in uh, the temple, whether we are in Vrindavan, whether we are in Navadi, wherever we are, today is a, is a full day of activity and service. Mm -hmm. So for the last few years, we've been in Vrindavan for Srila Guru Maharaj's Vyasa Puja. And in Vrindavan is the Pushpa Samadhi of Srila Guru Maharaj. And as we heard from Srila Goswami Maharaj yesterday, or the, perhaps the day before, mentioning about how that came to be. How did Guru Maharaj's Pushpa Samadhi come to be where it is? And this was, you can say, fulfilling in the, in the background or the foreground, the wish of Srila Govinda Maharaj, that the, there must be a place in Vrindavan where Guru Maharaj is to be worshipped, his place where he's engaged in his bhajan and we are engaged in his worship. And so Srila Gurudev in his humility, he's, he said that this happened automatically by our getting by the property right beside the Ram Radha Damada temple coming to us. And there as close as possible in fact as close practically as you can be to Srila Rupa Goswami's Samadhi and Bhajan Kutir is where now Srila Guru Maharaj's uh, Pushpa Samadhi is so that he is rendering service to Rupa Goswami staying nearby mm. and we are rendering our service to Guru Maharaj. This is how Gurudev expressed and directly told this is Guru Maharaj's Pushpa Samadhi in Vrindavan. So when we are in Vrindavan, we are in front of the deities and in front of the, the Murti and the Pushpa Samadhi of Srila Guru Maharaj. 
And the more and more devotees gather together as we are today. And the last year that we were there, then so many devotees were coming. It was such a big program, both of Westerners and of Indians, that what we did, what arrangement we made, was that the program was actually held in the Krishna Das Kaviraj Memorial Building, because oh, yeah. there, there is the large Natmandir, the large hall for Kirtan and for Hare Kata. And we staged it in two sections, because there is a feature in India, especially amongst the Bengalis, and it is largely the Bengali Gauriya Vaishnava section that come to participate from the other mats in our uh, temple program and our program for Srila Guru Maharaj's Vyasa Puja, they have a certain nature to come later on in the program, <laughs> closer by coincidence, a little closer to prashadam time. <laughs> but the, the Western devotees, they're already there. We're all living, we're staying there. We've got our shelter by the grace of Gurudev there in the temple and so the western devotees are already there and, and uh, they don't have to like congregate from anywhere else so last year we had a very successful program the biggest program we've ever had in Vrindavan for Guru Maharaj's Vyasa Puja and successful that the western sannyasis and the western leaders and the devotees from the west who had the opportunity to talk first. And we began, I believe, at 9, 9 a.m. with the Western section, 9 a.m. until 10.30. And then 10.30 through till 12. So one and a half hours for the Western section to speak in English and perhaps a little Russian with translation, a little Spanish also. And then an hour and a half after that for the Bengalis to speak in Bengali because they flow in Bengali. And by that time, they have congregated together. So this worked very well. This year, we have a special arrangement by Krishna's grace that we've got so many devotees can come and attend at one time. We don't have any uh, difficulty for space, unlimited space this year for the devotees to come together. And we don't have any challenge from loudspeakers outside or the horns of motorcycles and other things which may happen from time to time in Vrindavan. So we have this wonderful opportunity to be there in Sevakunj and come together to glorify Srila Gurudev. Uh, Shila, well, Srila Gurudev, yes, but Srila Guru Maharaj, especially on this his Vyasa Puja day, his appearance day. So Maharaj, uh, I invite you, Maharaj, to please start our glorification of uh, Srila Guru Maharaj with some uh, auspicious invocation and to get us primed for saying a few words from our dignitary devotees worldwide. Very good. Humbly. Sri Guru Gaur Gandharva Govindang Ringanai Saha. Vande Prashadato Yesham Savaramba Subankara Gauravag Vigraham Vande Gaurangam Gauravaibhavam Gaurav Sankirtanomatam Gaur Karunya Sundaram Guru Rupa Hrim Gauram Radha Ruchi Ruchavitam Nityam Nomi Navadipe Nama Kirtana Nartanai Om Jnana Tirandasya Jnananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Militam Jaina Tasmai Sri Guru Namaha Devam Divya Tanum Sutanda Vadanam Balaka Chelan Chitam Sandra Nanda Param Sadeka Vadanam Bhairagya Vidya Abhutim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Sarasvatanam Baram Bande Tam Subhadam Madeka Sharanam Nyasi Ishram Sridharam <coughs> So We've heard from Srila Guru Maharaj that, quoting a sloka, he learned as a child about the debt the disciple has to Sri Guru. And saying, one word from the mouth of Gurudev 
if we could offer the world or the three worlds as pranami uh, for that, it would be insufficient to repay that debt. So it re that's what Srila Guru Maharaj said, quoting that verse. Um, and it reminded me of something that Srila Gurudev said, where he said, one word from the lotus mouth of Srila Guru Maharaj is sufficient to make us his slaves forever. That's how he put it, which I liked even more. And he said, one word from the lotus mouth of Srila Guru Maharaj is, uh, uh, is sufficient to make us his slaves forever. And then he would say, as there's Guru Maharaj giving Srila Guru the sannyas mantram, at the time of the sannyas, emphasis on gopi bhav, taking shelter of the same kind of mood that the Braja gopis have, which is what? Exclusive dedication to the holy lotus feet of Srimati Radharani, Radha Dasyam, uh, the hallmark of Srila Guru Maharaj's preaching. And this is the month of Radharani. And Guru Maharaj would say, when I think of Radharani, I lose my existence. That statement, it still uh, is, is ringing in my ears. When I think of Radharani, I lose my existence. And sometimes Srila Guru Maharaj would say, I was not so much attracted by Krishna because supreme enjoyer and, you know, saying, but I was more attracted toward where we see self-sacrifice being expressed. And the zenith of self-sacrifice is in Srimati Radharani and her heart mirrored in the divine sentiments expressed by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Guru Maharaj's focus is always Radharani and Mahaprabhu. Right? And then he said this, and at the time he said this, he was, say, 90 years of age. And he said, but recently, <laughs> he said, I am developing some attraction for Krishna. <laughs> he said, because I know if you want to go in Radharani's group, you need Krishna's grace. So it's funny and charming that we think, no, from Radharani, you get Krishna. And yes, that is correct. That is the correct way to think. But Guru Maharaj is saying, but why is he approaching Krishna? To get her grace. Really, the Radha Dasyam, the service of the Holy Lotus Feet of Sri Mati Radharani and the Rupa Nuga line as encapsulated in the uh, um, Mat Pranam, the Pranam of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. The conceptual architecture of the mat is given there by Srila Guru Maharaj. And you can say it is Radha Dasyam centric, centered. Sri Mat, and he, why he founded this mat? For what purpose? Sri Mat Chaitanya Saraswata Matabara Udgita Kirtir Jayasrim Bibrat Sambhati Ganga Tata Nikata Navadvipa Kaladri Raja Yatra Sri Gora Saraswata Nirata Gora Gatha Grananti Nityam Rupa Nuga Sri Kritimati Guru Gauranga Radha Jitasha. So that Mat, he said, with the flag flying high in the sky, what is it announcing? Udgita Kirtir Jayasrim. In a profound and powerful way, it is announcing the glories of Srimati Radharani to the world. Like Vasu goes, Jari Gorna Hoyta Tabiki Hoyta Kemani Tari Tam Dehe Radhar Mahima Prema Rasasima Jagata Janata Ke. This is its purpose. And where is it located? Uh, and this means spiritually speaking. Where is its location? You know, uh, Ganga Tata Nikata. Uh, uh, that means on the banks of the Gang Ganges, the Ganga. In Navadip, uh, Koladri Raj, Adri Raj means Giriraj Govardhan. 
So it means its location is in Gupta Govardhan, in Navadvip, right? Every atom of Navadvip, Guru Maharaj says, is capable of giving Vrindavan in full. So there, on the banks of the Ganga, where in Adiraj, uh, Gupta Govardhan, you have to see Gora Sarasa Nirata, and then he says, um, and what is the purpose of the members of the Mat? Nityam Rupa Nugasri Krit, or before that, called it different. Now, Adri Raja, you have to see Gora Sarasata Nirata, Gor Gata Granante, Gor Kata. Interesting. Means Krishna Kata, but what type of Krishna Kata? Gor Kata, singing the glories of Goranga Mahaprabhu, right, who's none other than the divine combination of Rasa Raj Krishna and Mahabhav Sarupini Radha Thakurani. You think this is the primary function of the members of this mat to glorify Goranga Mahaprabhu. Uh, and then, and in what way? Nityam Rupa Nuga Sri Kritimati Guru Goranga Radha Jitasha. And the Rupa Nuga line, the line of Rupa Goswami, as we turn told earlier today, Saraswati Thakur, uh, by asking Guru Maharaj to sing Sri Rupa Manjari Pada 24 hours before his uh, withdrawing from this manifest world into the unmanifest upper world, asking to hear Sri Rupa Manjari Pada from the lotus lips of Srila Guru Maharaj, <clears throat> and uh, acknowledging and certifying that that flow, the Rupa Nuga Dara, he, here is the person in whom the current of devotion of Sri Rupa, which is one of exclusive devotion to the lotus feet of Sri Mati Radharani, that flow is an Om Vishnu Pad Shilabhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. So Sri Guru Gauranga, Kriti Mati Guru Gauranga Radha Jitasha. Asha means a particular aspiration. This is echoing the pranam written by Das Goswami. It says, Prapto Jasya Pratita Kripaya Sri Gurun Tosmi before that, Radhika Madhavasam, this aspiration to serve the holy lotus feet of Radha, Radhika, and Madhava. How? In the Rupa Nuga line, under the guidance of our Sri Guru Varga. And Srila Guru Maharaj, from him, it, uh, we're inescapably carried by his divine grace toward this sort of conception and always reminding us, and what shall be the spirit? Uh, <clears throat> the motto of his Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Pujala Raghavat Gauravabhange Matala Sarujana Bishayarange. That this Raghamarg, which is so wonderful, that means the path the, of Raghavakti uh, expressed toward um, Sri Sri Radha and Govinda, that that is something we keep above as worshipable. And from one step removed in this plane, we are uh, engaged in so many services but always with that in mind, that whatever we're doing here, it will be in service to that, that higher domain. So, uh, Srila Guru Maharaj, it's, uh, as we say, it, it, that verse, he said, if you could offer the three worlds in gratitude, it would be insufficient. But what we can do to express our gratitude is to try and offer some praise. Right. And that way express our appreciation. So as Srila Madhusudan Maharaj mentioned earlier today, I got to speak uh, extensively in an attempt to glorify Srila Guru Maharaj. And I now would like to give so many others the same opportunity. Uh, and beginning with Srila Madhusudan Maharaj himself, and then various dignitary devotees and senior disciples of Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Gurudev from around the world. So Maharaj, I'm turning to you now and asking for you 
to say something in glorification of Srila Guru Maharaj and with Devashish Prabhu standing by and Krishna Kanta Didi, Munendra, Sri Leka, oh, Nyasi Maharaj, if he is there, and, and Trilokanath and others. So, Maharaj, you please uh, begin. Maharaj, first of all, Jaya Srila Bhakti Rokok, Sri Hadev Goswami Maharaj, a wonderful Srila Guru Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. Maharaj, what I would just like to say is how natural it was when we came to Srila Guru Maharaj that here we have like the personification of goodwill for the devotees, personification of truth, clear, kind of clear uh, perception, understanding of what is appropriate for us, the good advice that is the best for us to make our life successful, in fact. So, we came without a lot of learning to Guru Maharaj. Actually, we came after you had discovered and the devotees had broadcast the uh, quotations from Srila Prabhupada, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, about Srila Sridha Maharaj. So we came with that faith that Srila Prabhupada had told how Guru Maharaj, I, that he is my Siksha Guru, what to speak of the benefit that others can have from his association, etc. So when we came, we already know that we're coming to the shelter of you know, a, the, a real pre a presenter of uh, Krishna consciousness, of the standard, we can say, of the family of Srila Prabhupada. Because Srila Prabhupada had no doubt attracted the, the hearts and attention and faith of so many through his books, through his devotees also, and through the, the tapes that we'd heard from Srila Prabhupada. So we came to Guru Maharaj and meeting him the very first day, it is as though we have met him for not just met him, but we'd known him for a thousand years or forever. <laughs> it was not that we're coming to a place where we're going to find out or are we, <laughs> are we uh, kind of uh, going to be accepted or not. It's just somehow it was automatic that when we came to Guru Maharaj, it was we've known each other forever and he treated us like that. And that is probably why we felt like that also coming to his divine grace's lotus feet. And Guru Maharaj's appearance in the world really has come to preserve what Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur has given to the world and continue that. And so without Srila Guru Maharaj, then we know that Srila A.C. Bhakti Ranta Swami Prabhupada also would not have got the training and the conception of Sarasati Thakur without Guru Maharaj giving that uh, uh, Siksha Guruship to him. But also we heard so like, clearly and repeatedly from Srila Govinda Maharaj that all of the senior uh, <laughs> disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, they all looked to Guru Maharaj for understanding properly what Srila Sarasati Thakur had given. So Guru Maharaj was the standard bearer of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur. In the time of Srila Sarasati Thakur, means during his direct presence, as well as afterwards, as well as during the period of time when Srila Sarasati Thakur withdrew, and then the many years that, by the Lord's grace, that Srila Guru Maharaj uh, remained before us, remained in this world all the way through till 1988. And one thing I too would very much like to say is that Srila Govinda Maharaj, by his grace, we were allowed to render service and be close with Srila um, uh, Guru Maharaj, by the grace of Srila Govinda Maharaj, and by the grace of Guru Maharaj and Govinda Maharaj, we were allowed to be close and in service to Srila Govinda Maharaj. And Srila Govinda Maharaj 
His everything is Guru Maharaj. It wasn't himself. He's not trying to put himself anywhere, except I'm giving you Guru Maharaj, presenting as Guru, Guru Maharaj everywhere. So we always were uh, feeling Guru Maharaj's close presence in the presence of Srila Govinda Maharaj. So it is not that this is just a, like a historic thing from in the past, but the presence of the di disciples, the, especially Srila Govinda Maharaj or Guru Maharaj, then by the presence of the disciple, we are kept very much alive, the presence of Guru Maharaj. And Srila Govinda Maharaj, he was the example too of living uh, in separation from Guru, but in service to Guru and repeatedly said that Guru Maharaj, he disappeared, he did not depart. So we've seen this example with Guru Dev, and now we are in an age which we never thought will happen when Srila Guru Dev also has disappeared. So at this time, we feel to the presence of Srila Guru Dev and Srila Guru Maharaj, especially through their disciples, especially through those who have got their grace and who are carrying them in their heart. And Gurudev did not depart, he, he disappeared. So Guru Maharaj is hidden from our view, disappeared but not depart. Gurudev who is carrying Guru Maharaj and trying to bring the world to Guru Maharaj, he's disappeared but not departed. And we are fortunate that still in this world at the, in the year 2020, that we are able to associate with devotees of Gurudev and Guru Maharaj from that era, which you know, is passing by as we notice that time is running on. And always still, it is Srila Guru Maharaj who is at the center everywhere. Guru Maharaj is what Srila Gurudev is bringing us to. We are all here, by the grace of Guru Maharaj, in the shelter of that big umbrella of Sri Chaitanya Sarasat Maj. And there is one thing in particular that Guru Maharaj harmonized, was the differences amongst the devotees, the differences amongst the gurus that, had, that uh, were uh, within, we can simply say ISKCON, the gurus who succeeded from Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta and to Swami Prabhupada, and how he was always uh, letting us, the, the disciple, the new section, also see the, the harmony in the diversity, not to see any fault, to accept anything that happens without any accusation to others, but only of ourselves. So that tendency of not to make any uh, judgment of the environment or, or to consider anybody else's at fault, but that only everything is coming to me my, because of whatever my karma or uh, to teach me, whatever it may be, but there is no fault outside. And Gurudev following this same theme, of course, but Gurudev always emphasizing do not criticize other devotees. Do not try to judge other devotees. And Guru Maharaj, we read the other day, how Guru Maharaj is saying that if, our, uh, if we, our tendency to judge others implies that, oh, I am perfect, I am able to judge. So we, should, we shall abandon any kind of tendency like this. We shall try to deal with the family of Guru Maharaj which means the family of Guru Maharaj, the family of Guru, of Guru Dev, and the family of the, of the Acharjas, the Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Acharya section, all with respect, only seeing their devotional side and avoiding all tendencies to judge, to criticize, to gossip also. This world is full of gossip and the, the conditioning of the news makes gossip very tasty, but Actually, our guidance has been given so perfectly by the examples of the, the teaching and living the life of Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Gurudev and how they guided the devotees. So 
we must we fully saying how glorious our Guru Maharaj, how glorious is Guru Dev. That glory means we must try to follow their teachings nicely. And this way, they will be pleased that their family, that family tree was growing healthily and successfully. Where there's criticism, where there is a, a, a disregard, all these things and gossip about the you know, mundane qualities of others, whatever it may be, this is harmful for the tree. Some branches of the tree will be sick, if you like. So let us have a strong tree as they wish. Guru Maharaj on this day in 1985, Srila Guru Maharaj is saying at the end of his short talk in English that he gave to the public, he to the gathering there, he said, and I pray that this next generation, that all of you who are coming from the Western world, that this next generation will carry, carry this message so that Mahaprabhu's message will purely be distributed and continue for ever, for as long as possible in this way. So we all have this duty to be uh, careful to try to follow nicely the teachings of our masters full respect to all the devotees, humility, tolerance, giving honor to others. Guru Maharaj, so grand, so great. And Gurudev, so grand, so great. We've, by causeless grace, got their connection. And we must be very careful to guard everything of our property, to guard it against the mad elephant offense or any other mundane things and nourish it so our Bhakti Lata will grow nicely because this is the best fortune that we could even guess to get. It is not possible to think how a good fortune to be connected here and at this time. So all by the grace of the founder, Acharya, of Sri Chaitanya Sarasakma, Sri Labhakti Rokok, Sri Dhar, Dev Goswami Maharaj, Ki Jai. Dai so Vakirandan Mother Siddhan Maharaj, Hare Krishna. And I'm thinking on something of what you said that um, if something came from Guru Maharaj that uh, might have been negative about someone, like in a particular, was Srila Keshava Maharaj, he told the devotees, he said, if Srila Sridhar Maharaj gives me Galagal, which you know in Bengali means like, you know, curse. If he curses me, he said, I consider it Veda. <laughs> right? he, so he's not taking offense uh, from such a higher Vaishnava. He's saying, whatever he says to me, that must be good for me. Um, but this mutual appreciation of the devotees, we, Gurudev also said that. He said, you've heard so many things about the, the uh, God brothers or the disciples of Srila Saraswati Thakur, he said, but I have not only heard such wonderful things, but I experienced such loving relationship and love and affection among them. You know, I was an eyewitness to that and a beneficiary of their love and affection. And in light with our, uh, and bringing this in line with the Parikrama, we, and the glories of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, we were told he, ne he would never hear any criticism of an another devotee, even if it was, in a sense, legitimate. There was something to be criticized. He didn't want to hear it because the devotee, the, the devotional thing is the devotee is dear to Krishna and you must appreciate those who are dear to Krishna. Like that... Uh, harmonist inaugural issue of Saraswati Thakur, he says, refers to the Sajjan Toshini of Bhaktivinoda Thakur, saying, who, Sat means Radha and Krishna, Jan means whom they consider their own, so Sajjan Toshini, an attempt to please them. If we displease those who are dear to Radha and Krishna, then we have no hope in the devotional line. And Krishna is saying, who are my real devotees? those who express appreciation and sing the glories of my devotees. So that is our opportunity here today. And I'd like to hear 
something from Sripad Deva Shish Prabhu, the uh, secretary of the London Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. If he's, is he available? At yes. This yes. Moment? Yeah. You have to unmute. Yes. Yes, I am unmuted. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Deva Shish Prabhu. He, that, uh, that's a bit different than Gurumar saying, and that man was silenced. <laughs> Many of Gurumar's stories, uh, when the man said, if the finite, if the infinite can be known by the finite, please put Devashish Prabhu's picture. If the infinite can be known by the finite, then he's not finite. And Gurumar said, if the infinite cannot make himself known to the finite, then he's not infinite. And that man was silenced. Or ah. muted. Hare Krishna. So are we able to do this by the marvels and wonders of technology? I gave you some time to do that. Oh, and here we are. Okay. So I just want to just quickly uh, show all the devotees that are here. Actually, most of them are in the kitchen right now. But Vijay Krishna Prabhu, Damada Krishna Prabhu, Yas Prabhu, Ishwari Didi, Varakesh Prabhu, Guru Maharaj's disciple Varakesh ah. Prabhu, Madhu Mangal Prabhu, mm -hmm. and of course our Guru Maharaj, hey. and Guru Maharaj's deity, Guru Goranga Radha Shamsunda Jew. Jai. They were installed by the order of Srila Guru Maharaj in 1985 and uh, I had the uh, privilege that Guru Maharaj sent me to Jaipur for their uh, manifestation you can say and I went to the uh, I stayed in the home of uh, disciples of uh, Bhakti Doita Madhav Maharaj hmm. Uh, and we arrived there. We just had a letter, you know, there's no internet, no any, anything. A letter of introduction from Guru Maharaj. And, uh, uh, and the address, the address was typically Indian. Uh, near to Shikawant Hair Salon. <laughs> that was the address in Jaipur. And the name, the name of the devotee, his name was Aniruddha Prabhu. And he is a disciple of Bhakti Daita Madhav Maharaj and, uh, and Guru Maharaj had chosen the Murti Walla that Madhav Maharaj specifically favored. He had many temples and with many Murtis installed there. And uh, we arrived and, you know, the rickshaw driver always says, yes, of course, I know where this is. And after, after maybe, you know, four hours going to different places, we found the Shikawant hair salon. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the family of those devotees, they were Rajput uh, kings, actually, their family. They, they, although uh, Aniruddha Prabhu was, uh, worked in the Rajasthani government, and his son, whose name was Raghavir Prashad, the eldest son, he worked in the, in the Jaipur Bank. So the, we, we were sent from the house to the, to the bank. And there he left the bank that as soon as we arrived, he left his um, work there and came and took care of us. And, uh, and we went to his home and there we had Prashadam. And then the next, and they gave us place to stay. And the next morning we went to the Murtiwala with Aniruddha Prabhu, who was his father. And, and the Murtis were uh, Sri Sri Guru Garanga Radha Sham Sunda. They were commissioned to that Murtiwala. And, but all the dimensions, everything, were given by Guru Maharaj. They will be this high. Radharani will stand like this. And everything and was Guru Maharaj's specification. And I wasn't uh, um, able to stay until, there, you know, until they were manifest. But while we were there every day, Aniruddha Prabhu, he was going to see the Murtiwala, what is the progress? And some months later, they were delivered to Navadvip Mott and Guru Maharaj with his own hands, he 
saw them, if you like, touched them and was satisfied with them. And then he gave their name, Radha Sham Sundar. And they were sent to London and they had their own seat on the airline. Uh, we booked them each, one for Radha, Radharani and one for Shama Sundar. They had their own seat and they arrived and uh, they were installed on the Nisinga Chaturdashi of 1985, which is also the day that Srila Gurudev came to the lotus feet of Guru Maharaj, as we know. So <coughs> when Srila Govinda Maharaj would come to our mot, our very small mot in uh, uh, 466 Green Street in London, he, Gurudev would always say, this is my Guru Maharaj's mat. And uh, he was always very happy to be here on all of his uh, world tours, which was what, 25, I think, right? And, uh, and every, at every time that he left, 24, every time that he left uh, India, he would always come to the London Mart, wherever else he was going. And we were very fortunate for that. Anyway, we know that Gurudev was always happy. He said, we do not care, uh, it is big or small, but that it will be 100% Guru Maharaj, that is our concern. So, but of course, some he felt some little difficulty for the uh, service of the devotees that we could not accommodate everybody so easily. But the devotees didn't mind that, and we would have devotees queuing in the outside in the street to get some darshan of Gurudev while he was here. But anyway, later, uh, by the desire of Gurudev and by the selfless service of the Vaishnavas in in the UK, the the new uh, center was manifest in uh, in West London, and now side by side we are continuing with that. I'm reminded the first time when uh, Bhakti Bhimal Abhidut Maharaj, he invited me to uh, come to the uh, Veda Life Festival in the Ukraine and asked me to speak something. And there was big crowds there, as we all know, Abhidut Maharaj's style is always very big style, but big. And uh, so we got the opportunity to speak to many, many people and uh, on, on a big stage. And my, the first day that I was asked to speak something, I was, I was scheduled to speak just after Madhu Sudan Maharaj had spoken. And, uh, and as, just as it is today. And, and I've been thinking, what will I say? What will I say? And then when, I, when it came my turn to speak, uh, I'd been listening to Madhu Sudan Maharaj's talk and everything that I wanted to say, he already said. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and this is like the same thing today. So, but, but uh, I, so I began my talk by saying, this is the case. Everything that I was going to say to you, Madhusudan Maharaj, he's already said that. But it is not surprising because we are both students of the same master. Then what we heard from Guru Maharaj, we are trying to present that to everybody and uh, as much as possible. And as we heard from uh, Srila Goswami Maharaj, what one word from Guru Maharaj was enough to make us his slaves forever. We really, we feel that. And, uh, and we want uh, that everyone will hear the Susidanta of Srila Guru Maharaj. We know, you know, that almost 200 years ago now, uh, Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he made the prophecy that the day will come when all intelligent men and women all over the world will accept the religion of love as taught by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we believe that that will happen. But my feeling is that integral to that is that the English speaking people, not just the English speaking people, the people of the world, when they hear the words of Srila Guru Maharaj, they must uh, embrace Mahaprabhu's religion of love because Guru Maharaj's presentation is so unique and so 
heart melting that that uh, only that has the power to to capture the whole world and what sensitive intelligent person will not be captured by that will not be charmed by that once i heard guru Mahad say if anyone will sit for me with with me for three days i will convince them completely about mahaprabhu's siddhanta and we not only did we see that never mind three days three minutes half an hour when people would come whoever they were from whatever background they came when they would hear from Guru Maharaj, they would be completely uh, overwhelmed with Krishna consciousness. The desire for Krishna consciousness. There was, I, I don't think anyone could come and sit at the lotus feet of Guru Maharaj and not be uh, touched, their heart touched by his uh, exposition of Hari Kata. Guru Maharaj was so... Uh, wonderful in his presentation so uh you can say unique we've heard so many preachers of krishna consciousness and and they have their style but their style usually is some kind of rote uh explanation which we which you can find in the books and the writings of the previous acharyas uh, but guru Maharaj, he was not somebody that just repeated something that he'd read in a book or heard he was able to condense that into something that everybody could appreciate, that everybody could understand, and something very high and very profound in, in a simple yet beautiful poetic way. And really his presentation was heart-touching to everybody. And we know that, uh, that Srila Govinda Maharaj, he considered the books published by Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj, Search for Sri Krishna, Reality, the Beautiful, Sri Guru and His Grace, uh, The Golden Volcano of Divine Love, The Lord's Loving Search for His Lost Servant, and uh, Subjective Evolution of Consciousness. Srila Gurudev said, these are my deities. These are my deities. Then there is no... Uh, higher representation of Krishna consciousness in the world. You will not find it anywhere. And, you, and uh, what we heard from Guru Maharaj, that is, is uh, it's an unlimited, um, you can say, access to that higher dimension, to the, 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 that other plane of existence, the plane of reality, the beautiful, and, and Guru Maharaj was able to present that to us in such a way that we actually felt we were connecting with that. So many times, I can say from my own uh, small perspective, that when I came to Guru Maharaj, I didn't know anything. I didn't even know who Guru Maharaj was or anything. I was just a kid. But when I heard from his lotus mouth, I felt uh, even somebody like me could get Krishna consciousness. And Guru Maharaj was uh, so human also at the same time, so real and so human. And uh, my very first meeting with him, when I came, it was afternoon time. And the first, uh, there was no one else there. I arrived later from the party that had come and uh, with one other devotee, and we went to see Guru Maharaj. And the first thing he asked us was, do you have a room? Have you got a mosquito net? Have you got, you know, some bedding? And just like very human things, you know, just very normal. And, you know, when we went to the market without telling anybody, when we came back, Harry Charan Prabhu was, where have you been? Guru Maharaj was worried. Why didn't you tell anyone where you're going? This was a new thing. Some, what does this great saint, he actually cares about us on a very normal human level. It was an, an unprecedented experience. And I remember when we were there, some, I was showing one uh, um, sannyasi from ISKCON. I'm showing him around the temple and he came to stay for some time. And he's meeting Guru Maharaj's disciples. 
And, you know, it was his, uh, the common, uh, the common habit, I guess, was that when you introduce yourself, they would ask, so what's your service? What's your service? Oh, I'm a cook, I'm a pujari, I'm a book distributor or whatever it was. This is how we kind of introduced ourselves before. But when they would ask Guru Maharaj's disciples this question, they, it, it, invariably the reply was Vaishnav Seva. My service is Vaishnav Seva. And this was the very speciality of Guru Maharaj and Guru Maharaj's disciples, that the Vaishnava and the service of the Vaishnava was always foremost. Anyway, you all know me that I can just speak all day if you let me, but so many other uh, devotees need to say something in Guru Maharaj's praise. And, uh, and so with your permission, I offer my obeisance to you all. Uh, Jai Om Vishnupad, Srila Bhakti, Rakak, Sri Dadev, Goswami Maharaj, Ki Jai. Srila Guru Maharaj, Abir Bhav Maha Mahotsav, Ki Jai. Vitae Gaura Premanandi. Arrivo. Jai Sri Pad Deva Shis Prabhu, Ki Jai. Jai. And we must say that London was very special for Srila Guru Maharaj. It's actually the only other Mott in his lifetime that he allowed to carry the name Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mott. Even his own Mots in Calcutta and other places did not have the name Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mott. Sri Chaitanya Krishna Rashila Nasanga, and, but um, Srila and Guru Maharaj was reluctant to allow this. I don't understand, there's a feedback loop. So he, um, because Guru Mar the Chaitanya Saraswat Mat is in Navadvip, and that's the Mat he established. Uh, and, but Gurudev would say, was trying to get Guru Maharaj to approve London uh, to be, to allow that name. And finally, Srila Gurudev said to him, he said, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, Prabhupada, he wanted you to preach in the Western world, particularly London, because that's where he was sending the preachers. Uh, and someone had been sent previously who in Guru Maharaj's word came back half converted. So he wanted Srila Guru Maharaj to go and Guru Maharaj said, I will go if you uh, insist, but my nature is not for mixing and I can't follow their intonation. Although he can speak first class English with an extensive vocabulary, I learned how to speak English and better by listening to Guru Maharaj. But he said, I can't follow the intonation so well. So, but I will go if you want. And then they said, but you, do you know why Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur wants you to go to London? He said, no, why? He said, because Prabhupada said, he can't be converted. Right? The other person came back half converted. So he said, he cannot be converted by them. And Guru Maharaj said, that is true. <laughs> so then Gurudev said, so because Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur wanted you to go there to London and, and honoring that order of your Guru Maharaj, if you will sanction the London Mat to be called Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. So Guru Maharaj uh, consented to that. And it's the only Mat mentioned in the, of the Western world in his will. Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. Jai. Sri Deva, Sri Prabhu, Ki Jai, our secretary there. And I, now I would like, I believe, Sri Pad Bhakti Bigrahan Nyasi Maharaj is here. <laughs> Yes, Maharaj, he's available, yes. ready. Hare Krishna. So he is the uh, dear disciple of Srila Prabhupada. As Sri Govinda Prabhu was the temple president of Chicago temple, one of our largest temples. And then uh, when we promoted Guru Maharaj, he was there from the very beginning to support all of our efforts. And uh, later, 
Srila Bhakti Sundar Govindadev Goswami Maharaj and it's Srila Gurudev Srila Bhakti Sundar Govindadev Goswami Maharaj who conferred sannyasa upon him and the title Sripad Bhakti Vigraha Nyasi Maharaj. So Nyasi Maharaj, our Dandavat pronounced to you. And if you could say some words in glorification of Srila Guru Maharaj. Yes, my Dandavat to all the Vaishnavas. Um, I can try to, to say something. Um, I, can, I, I saw Goswami Maharaj this morning. And just as, he, as he, the program ended, he told about this. And at the same time, Shuleka gave me a, a message, are you coming? So it took me a half hour to figure out how to get in. So I got, I'm here now. <laughs> so anyway, uh, when I heard Goswami Maharaj and Abhidut Maharaj speaking uh, this morning, I, I remembered, it just came into my mind. When I, I first mm -hmm. saw Srila Guru Maharaj, it was on a, a, a parikrama, uh, coming from Mayapur uh, with Srila Prabhupada. And um, we were carrying Srila Prabhupada and also had a big giant Vyasa sign. And we came to the uh, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. And I remember it was a big courtyard in front of the temple. That was before the Kirtan Mandir was built by, Shrila, by the donation from Srila Prabhupada, by the way. And um, when, when we came there, we seated Prabhupada on the Vyasa San, and Srila Sridhar Maharaj came out, and Prabhupada moved over and invited Srila Sridhar Maharaj to sit on that Vyasa San. And I, I was, everybody was stunned to see this because we, we had only seen Srila Prabhupada on Vyasa San. And we considered, sometimes we heard different things about his god brothers. Uh, you know, as a godbrother, Prabhupada was speaking, and we didn't understand how to how to take that. So we it was completely shocking. And Srila yeah. Prabhupada spoke, and then he asked Srila Sridharmaras to speak. And I think he spoke a little, and then also asked Srila Govindamaras to speak something. Mm -hmm. Then there was a kirtan. And that was the only temple we went to on that parikrama through the Navadut side. And I, I did note that. And then later, when we first heard of Srila Sridhar Maharaj, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to be loyal to Srila Prabhupada. Um, and my, I was foolish, like so many of, the, uh, of my god brothers. But I, it was so, it was the kindness of Srila Goswami Maharaj and Sripad uh, Sagar Maharaj, our dearly departed Sagar Maharaj, okay. and uh, who spent an entire, evening and night with me speaking about how the glories of Srila Sridhar Maharaj and how to, to find and accept someone of the caliber of Srila Sridhar Maharaj was such a blessing to, to our lives. And for, by their heartfelt presentation, I was able to understand a little bit about the position of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And from then on, I, I was, my objective was to uh, learn how to surrender uh, to Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. And by the grace of Srila Govinda Maharaj, there was some disturbance in my Gayatri mantra as received from Srila Prabhupada. So by Srila Govinda Maharaj's mercy, we got to hear Gayatri mantra from Srila Sridhar Maharaj. Right. Such a blessing. And then after that, he quoted that uh, wonderful verse from Raghunath Das, uh, uh, which I can't remember, about the, the, the wonderful position of Sri Guru. And at least I was able to read it, and I'm still now able to read that and feel some uh, deep inspiration in my, in my life uh, as a result of coming in contact with Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And I was able to go three, four, or five times and sit for a week or two, because at that time I was working as a grihasta. But each time, I, I, I was lost in the, the, the idea that here sitting before us is someone uh, like Srila Prabhupada, and not only like Srila Prabhupada, but like we've heard from everyone today, giving us such clear elucidation of what Srila Prabhupada actually was trying to give us. 
such beauty, such, such a wonderful thing uh, came to us by the grace of Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And for that, we have to be, you know, eternally indebted and eternally thankful that uh, he was so, uh, you know, wondrous and kind to give this to everyone. And we understand that that, that was only possible by the grace of Srila Govinda Maharaj. And the whole thing itself was only possible by the grace of Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj Prabhupada. And for me, the whole thing was only possible by the grace of my kind God brothers. So on this Veeras Day of Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, I, I want to uh, beg for the, the mercy of my kind God brothers and God sisters and everybody who's now my God brother and God sister, regardless of who your guru is, um, to please help me in my uh, attempts to surrender to Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj. And that way, um, uh, maybe before I leave, I'll be able to have some appreciation actually living in my heart. But for this, I want, and someday maybe it will be there. So, wow. Jai Shil Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Shil Bhakti Vigraha Nyasi Maharaj Ki Jai. Very beautiful, very heartfelt. And uh, Hare Krishna. Yes, when the devotees came to the Mat, um, Srila Gurudev would chaperone everyone. Because how do we know how to interact with Srila Gurudev? Actually, only Srila Gurudev can properly serve him and have uh, intimate association with him. But he's the one who, uh, by affection's force, you could say, brought us in connection with Srila Guru Maharaj. Because sometimes Srila Guru Maharaj, he is elderly and is not ready to speak or something. And then Srila Guru Dev very sweetly say, but Maharaj, they have come from so far. And Saraswati Thakur wanted you to preach to them. And Guru Maharaj would laugh and say, yes, I couldn't go. Uh, Muhammad could not go to the mountain. So the mountain was brought to Muhammad. All right, bring them, you know. And, and Gurudev would say, just for five minutes, just for five minutes, Maharaj. And then it would turn into 45 minutes, an hour and a half. And, and some of these things Maharaj said, they're mysterious. A little, uh, a Ritvik here, a Gayatri Mantram there, not perfectly. It allowed for us to hear fresh Krishna Nam from Srila Guru Maharaj, the Gayatri Mantram, from Srila Guru Maharaj, Sanyas Mantram from Srila Guru Maharaj. It's all perfect. It's all perfect. Hare Krishna. And uh, I'd like if we can hear from Srila Guru Maharaj's disciple Dina Tarini Didi from Australia to hear something from the Didi section, the Lakshman. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm here, Maharaj. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can everyone? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, we can hear. Hi. Uh, Dandavats, Goswami Maharaj and Dandavats to all the assembled devotees worldwide. Um, after hearing Devashish and Adusadan Maharaj and your good self, I don't know what else to I don't know what to say really. I'm a little I was thinking I'd be listening to a lot of others giving their offering first. But um, I'd just like to offer my humble obeisances unto Guru Maharaj. Hey, who is the Emperor of Sanyasi Kings, holder of the Rupanuga Dara, who is the Shastra Nipanam, the guardian of devotion. And the great Paramahamsa Paripa Jakacharya, Srila Bhakti Rakshak Sri Dadev Goswami Maharaj, who we affectionately know as Guru Maharaj. Actually, I don't know how to glorify Guru Maharaj. I'm a meager, unqualified disciple, but I do know that Guru Maharaj is my soul shelter. He is the faithful stalwart preacher 
representing the perfect conclusions and the revealed scriptures as given by his divine master, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati. And he is the singer of the Sri Rupa Manjari Pada. And he can cast newer and newer light upon the philosophical purports and realizations of the Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta. His beautiful, splendid figure encompasses his soft lotus heart and his beautiful dancing hands, always in tune with his sweet orations and his smooth divine lotus feet and rapture all those who behold his golden form. He penned Sri Sri Prapana Jivanam Ritam, which is the revered devotional guidebook held in high esteem by all those sincere souls approaching the path of Atmanivedana, self divine surrender. And he gave us so many beautiful things. He gave us Chatur Sloki of Bhagavad Gita, the essence and the pinnacle of the Gita. And he gave us his glorious commentary on the Gayatri Mantra, which you have already elucidated on Goswami Maharaj. And he's given us such wonderful books that you've also made manifest, Goswami Maharaj, like, like what was mentioned, the loving search for the lost servant and search for Sri Krishna reality, the beautiful. And um, Guru Maharaj has given us so much, so much profound practical help for our spiritual journey. But without a doubt, I think from my personal perspective, his most important instruction for us aspiring Saivites is to cultivate and acquire the correct angle of vision, which was originally espoused by his Guru Maharaj Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati. And who would have thought that the Lord would be searching for his lost servants? <laughs> like Guru Maharaj's um, instruction of acquiring the proper angle of vision is the very thing that will end up underpin our spiritual progress and the proper angle of vision will also be the platform for which we stand and provide the standard for us. And it'll give us the shelter that we, that we seek in life's storms. Um, his presentation, like has already been spoken about, is so unique, so wonderful, so unique. It's so loving. It's so homely. But it's so high and it's profound. It's just some of the things you hear. Like when I first heard that the environment is friendly, I couldn't understand that statement of Guru Maharaj's because Previous to that, I'd heard that it was just the opposite to that. It was all Maya and Maya's out to get you. But when I heard Guru Maharaj's um, quote, you know, the environment is friendly and his explanation of that, I thought, what a, what a beautiful thing to hear. What a beautiful, soft, um, wonderful thing for the, for the aspiring devotee to, to take on and to to be comforted by and um, there's so many things that Guru Maharaj has, has left us and we are the benefactors of that and his legacy is our heritage and there's just no one like Guru Maharaj there are so many preachers today like you listen to so many preachers from here and there you come across on the internet and there's so many now that are even adopting and talking about Guru Maharaj's philosophy and his angle of vision. And even though some of them might not come out and, and admit it straight up, you can, you can trace it out and some will say, yes, they've listened to Guru Maharaj and they have a great appreciation for him. So Guru Maharaj's you know, words and his heart eventually slowly and slowly are coming out more and more to the whole world. And this is a wonderful and glorious thing. So I'd just like to finish there. Hi. And um, all glories to our Guru Maharaj Jai on this most, most holy day. Hare Krishna. Jai. Jai Bhakti Rakhak Srinar Dev Goswami Maharaj Abhir Bhav Mahamahutra Bhatiti Ki Jai. Sri Dina Tarini Didi Ki Jai. Nitai Go Primanande. So Maru Suran Maharaj. You're yes. there at Vila Govinda 
And perhaps I mean, I mean, some of the leaders there, Krishna Kanta Didi, Munindra Mohan Prabhu, they yeah, could uh, say something in praise of Srila Guru Maharaj. We, they are ready and we are happy to hear from them, Maharaj. Please come a little nearer to the microphone. Come here. Quickly. Okay, they're coming as quickly as possible. <laughs> they're very shy, Maharaj. Yeah. They want to dissolve. But once they start speaking, they really speak a lot of sense. <laughs> Yeah, we want to disappear, Maharaj, right now, but uh, we have a marble floor, so we cannot dig. I guess anyway. Maharaj want to hear some children cut here. <laughs> some, hey. some kids cut we are, we are actually feeling so fortunate to be here with uh, all these beautiful devotees, like we, I see Shileika and of course yourself and Yazi Maharaj to hear Devashish Prabhu. We are feeling really like kids in the family and we are so happy to have this um, beautiful family of Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev and you know what I, I remember once the Devashish Prabhu saying how he expressed to Guru Dev oh I wish I could be there when Guru Maharaj was there and living in the mat and uh, correct me if I'm wrong but Guru Dev say oh Prabhu <laughs> you don't know you could nobody could stay he was so strict <laughs> It was not easy to stay with Guru Maharaj. So, so this is just to say that we, if we have any access to the conception of Guru Maharaj uh, is just by the mercy of Srila Govinda Maharaj. And of course, you yourself that you, you, you give us so many beautiful books and Madhusudan Maharaj also, he gave us many books from Srila Guru Maharaj. And uh, almost every day we are reading something or hearing something from Guru Maharaj. And really every word is so full of uh, life, uh, wow. nectar, and it's just, uh, I cannot imagine how we, we could go on in this world uh, without hearing, without this conception, we'd be just lost. Especially now, this uh, very difficult time, we we still don't feel any difficulty because we are locked in with Madhusudan Maharaj, oh, and oh. I mean, how can you be <laughs> <laughs> feeling any discomfort? And we are very happy, and uh, every day we are in program hearing from from Madhusudan Maharaj, uh, reading from Guru Maharaj, Sichedanya uh, Charitamrita. So we feel very blessed, and especially that we've been accepted by Shila Gurudev. And uh, whatever, everything that you say, that uh, also Dina, Dina Tarini, did he say, then uh, Madhusudan Maharaj, uh, it's all about this uh, vision and this home feeling. And this morning also we were hearing from Guru Maharaj, what is home, that place where you don't have to look after yourself, the, the whole environment, everyone is, uh, is having so much love and care for yourself that you don't have to think about your, your own necessity. And this we are feeling. And really Krishna and Gurudev, Guru Maharaj, are, we can feel that they are taking care of us. They are giving all their love and affection. And we just feel very grateful and fortunate to be also here now. And... Uh, just want to express my gratitude for everything everyone here is doing and just for being in this world. Hey, Krishna. Yeah. Nice. yeah, today is beautiful, beautiful day. We are feeling very good and safe and protected. Really happy day. And yes, we are always felt this... Uh, family feeling and we never felt any hierarchy feeling from the superior Vaishnava disciple of our, our Parangu. Rather, we always feel some nourishment and protection and still feeling that. And uh, I, I remember, well, everything we know about Guru Maharaj, we heard from Govinda Maharaj and you all. Uh, senior devotee Acharya, uh, uh, Acharya, a uh, person now in, in responsible of the of the mission, and uh, so there is a kind of 
protection that because I, I heard from Govinda Maharaj himself telling that Guru Maharaj gave him so many chance to see him as a human person, but he never took this chance. And, uh, but we haven't got this problem because everything we know about Guru Maharaj is like subli sublime, divine description of Guru Dev and you, uh, Goswami Maharaj, always. You can, you can speak about any subject because you are a very, very intelligent person, but you only speak only glories of Guru Maharaj all your life long. So we, and, and everyone else also, disciple on this ship, Devashish Prabhu, uh, uh, Vaishnava Maharaj, Shileka Didi, Nyasi Maharaj, Madhusudan Maharaj, Janada Maharaj, all chant the glory unanimously of, of Shila Guru Maharaj. First time when we went to Navadvip, I remember uh, we, uh, we saw the Samadhi Mandir of Shila Guru Maharaj and I felt, oh, this is very sacred, untouchable place. And then the day after, the Madhusudan Maharaj told us, Let, let's, let's sit on the platform then and have a rikata there. I was shocked. What? This is very sacred place. <laughs> then he explained me, this is for the pleasure of Guru Maharaj that the Western children and devotee will hear Chaitanya Charitamrita and, and hear Harikata there. So was kind of being uh, placed in the proper place at the feet of Guru Maharaj by Govinda Maharaj and by his servants. Very protected situation. I was like flying like a, <laughs> in, uh, in a spaceship <laughs> of consciousness in this place. So, and still we are flying in the divine platform. So very happy day and Give the microphone back to Mother Maharaj. Give the microphone back to Swami Maharaj. Jai. Jai Krishna Kanta Didi Manindra Mohan Prabhu Ki Jai. And if we could hear something from Sri Leka Didi, uh, that would be wonderful. Hare Krishna, Sri Leka Didi. Dandavat. Maharaj Dandavat. I want to offer my obeisances to the holy feet of. Bhakti Siddhar Goswami Maharaj and Ran Srila Madhusudan Maharaj, you, 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 you probably don't realize that my first contact with Srila Guru Maharaj was way back when we were living in Los Angeles. And uh, I lived in the green building. We lived in the green building. And the office was there. And we were all feeling so much loss. Uh, because of the disappearance of Srila Prabhupada and some bewilderment about our future. And uh, you were coming up the steps as I was coming out of the building. You don't know, I'm sure, but you had, unbeknownst to me, just come back from um, being with Srila Guru Maharaj. I didn't know that at the time, but I, it made such an impression on me to see you because you were so brilliantly effulgent mm -hmm. and you had this huge smile on your face <laughs> and you said, Hare Krishna. <laughs> and I thought, what, what is this? What is this? Did you, and uh, I think that was really my, you know, she was, uh, I mean, um, Satsuru Maharaj came back just before that, he, after the disappearance of Prabhupada and he said, don't worry, Srila Prabhupada told us that we will get guidance from his dear god brother, Srila Sridhar Maharaj. And he spoke that in the temple room in, in Los Angeles. And my friend Sachi Devi and I were practically dancing across the road, thinking, oh, oh, someone's going to take care of us. <laughs> but then we saw you that day, and it, it didn't, I didn't realize how much of an impression that made on me somehow. And then we scattered, we, we went out to the mountains with some of the other devotees, Rishabh Dev Prabhu, and we tried to continue the Sangha. We, we tried to make 
our continued Sangha and the mood that was there in the time of Prabhupada. And we really tried our level best to do that. Continuing all the programs, the Sunday feast, you know, and everything that we tried, our Tulsi Devi Seva and everything we tried to do. But after a few years, I remember thinking that I'd somehow or other come into some backwater, you know, where there's a river and then there's a little like water that's come in the side that's not moving. And I felt I'm not moving. I'm not finding progress in my life. And in the meantime, Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj has made a temple fully dedicated to the service of Guru Maharaj, printing books, giving lectures, and some am amazing, wonderful seva going on there. But that connection with Guru Maharaj hadn't come in directly to us. But then uh, Akoyananda Maharaj went to Badger. He told us the glories of, of Srila Guru Maharaj. And in 1985, we got the chance to go there. And who picked us up at the airport in a cab was a very nice brahmachari named Mahananda Prabhu. <laughs> 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 and uh, I remember that so well. He was so sweet. And um, he took us to this, the little place in Calcutta that uh, had been established for the devotees coming from the West. And really, I was just like a child. I didn't know where I was. It's my first time in India. All I remember was these mosquitoes <laughs> that were like uh, the Hell's Angels. You know, <laughs> they were like like motorcycle group of you know, noisy. Uh, I, I couldn't believe that the, these mosquitoes, that was my biggest impression there. But then the following day, we went to the Mott. And um, we don't know how that happened. Because we're just, I mean, I felt like a criminal just uh, coming from the mean streets, you know, of exploitation with stuff in my pocket. And, un, you know, I just was so unqualified to be there. And we were brought to uh, see Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Guru Maharaj saw us. And um, I keep thinking of Kali a serpent. You know, he had the footprints of the Lord on his head. And so he was left alone. So we had the connection of Srila Prabhupada, so we were allowed to come in. We weren't just kept out, you know. And he, uh, he, you know, he gave us some very encouraging words. And the next day, we were walking, and we saw someone sitting on the veranda underneath Srila Guru Maharaj's quarters getting his head shaved. And I don't know how it was, but uh, we, we both said, oh, he looks just like Srila Prabhupada. Who is that? We didn't know who he was. And it was Srila Gurudev. And we do, I don't understand why we thought he looked like Prabhupada because he really doesn't look very much like him. But that was the impression we both got. And uh, Later on, I wrote a letter to Srila Gurudev. Uh, again, I don't know how this impression came, but um, I wrote to him that I feel that one day you will walk down the streets in America and all the people on both sides of the street will bow down to you. <laughs> and then the next morning, Srila Gurmaj announced that Srila Gurudev would take sannyas. So we got to be there for that beautiful ceremony. Gurudev smiling so much. And uh, after the ceremony was over, Srila Gurudev was uh, embracing all of the, the Prabhus. And we're all sitting together. The ladies are all sitting in a little group, you know, just looking. <laughs> and then he turned to us and he said, I am embracing all of you in my heart. 
And we felt like that continued through the rest of our, our time with Julie Gurdjieff. And we realized later that the reason we got to go to Srila Guru Maharaj was because he was so qualified to adjust everything so there was never any disturbance to Guru, Guru Maharaj ever. He made it so that even, you know, really a big disturbance like myself would not disturb him. He could adjust everything. And uh, anyway, so as uh, Sri Panyasi Maharaj said, we, we were able to get Gayatri Mantra again and, and our beads again, everything again from Srila Guru Maharaj. And I feel like that, I always felt that that was some kind of mercy from Srila Prabhupada because he, for some reason in our case, we heard Gayatri Mantra not in the tape, but by someone else. He said, you will hear it from so-and-so. And then Srila Govinda Maharaj arranged with Guru Maharaj that this, he said, this rhetoric is not strong. It's weak now. So Guru, Guru Maharaj gave again, Gayatri Mantra and everything to us. And um, Srila Prabhupada's ladies disciples were given Brahma Gayatri. So up until that point, I was chanting the full Gayatri mantra. But Guru, Guru Maharaj didn't give that mantra. So I stopped chanting that. And I was thinking that Guru is like this, sometimes giving, sometimes taking, and sometimes chastising, sometimes withdrawing himself, sometimes embracing and all the while adjusting us, adjusting us all the time to be on this divine road of family life in the divine plane. And Guru Maharaj says, you must see the Guru everywhere. You have to see the hand of divinity everywhere in your life that you're being adjusted this way, you're being adjusted that way. Sometimes you feel embraced, Sometimes you feel rejected, but we're hanging on to this truth that the environment is divine, it is guru, it is embracing us, it's training us and it's bringing us to a plane of divine service and surrender that we don't qualify for by our nature. So we're trying to go on and I don't have any holding power, actually. I, I feel that. I know it. But the hearts of the, it's like a, a web uh, of the worldwide Sangha, and especially our Sri Chaitanya Saraswati Acharya Vrinda, um, they are holding me in place. You're all holding me in place because everyone has a, this treasure in their heart that is keeping me safe in this very long journey. And so really, if I have any sincerity or good fortune, I hope to be offering my dandava to everyone on this inconceivably holy day. Jai Silakadi, Jai Silaguru Maharaj, Abhirbha Mahamahotavati Tiki Jai. And Srila Madhusudan Mars, if you could say some concluding words before we have Kirtan. Maharaj, actually we have one devotee, which a trilokan has to in Greece, Guru Maharaj's disciple. Yes. Uh, All right, if, sure. If you may, he'd be happy to give a few words and we'd be very happy to hear from him, Maharaj. Yes, Maharaj. Tri trilokan has you need to unmute your microphone, I think. Ask to unmute. Unmute. Okay. Okay. That, that's done. Can you hear me? Yes, Prabhu, clearly. Okay. Vansha Kalpa Turubesha Kripa Sindhu Bayo Vacha. Atitana Pavana Bhu Vishnavapuna Mona Maha. 
ദൈവം ദിവ്യതാനം സുജാതവാദനം ബലാർക്ക ചിലാഞ്ചിതം സന്തനന്ദപുരം സദൈകവാരണം വരായ വിധി പ്രിയം ശ്രീ സിദ്ധാന്തനീം സുഭാക്തിലാഹിതം സരസ്വത്തനാംബരം വന്ദേതം ശുഭരം മധേകശരണം ശിശ്വരം ശ്രീധരം Uh, it's unexpected to be asked to say a few words, but uh, it also is a big honor and uh, a duty. The Vyasa Puja um, in 1985 of Srila Guru Maharaj, just after Srila Gurudev received uh, sannyas, uh, was a unique one. because Srila Guru Maharaj uh, was glorifying his disciple, Srila Govinda Maharaj. So what is the teaching in this? What is the meaning of all this? The only uh, obvious uh, meaning and teaching of this is that uh, Srila Guru Maharaj was not stopping the Rubanuga Dhara flowing through him but he was openly leaving it and pouring in all of it into shila gurudev shila govinda maharaj so this in this respect uh, i must not stop the grace that shila guru maharaj has given me and must distribute it and I must say a few words to um, glorify my eternal benefactor and guardian, Srila Bhakti Rakshak Srila Dei Pusar Maharaj. Also, I would like to point out that uh, I've heard with my own ears because being on my own in the Greek mountains, uh, I listen day and night to Srila Guru Maharaj's tapes And that keeps Mahamaya well away. Well, actually, to be precise, uh, when Srila Guru Maharaj shines, she pulls up a front row chair and she comes to bathe in his grace. So I have heard Srila Guru Maharaj acknowledging and uh, appreciating Srila Bhaktisuddhya Goswami Maharaj's uh, contribution to the good name of Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. So, Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj either doesn't stop the dhara, the Rupanuga dhara flowing through him, but he's freely, constantly distributing to all, and this is what he's doing here today. So, we must be always very careful and very observant to see where this Rupanuga Dhara flows and we must follow it. Like in a gold mine, they don't just dig anywhere. They just dig following the path of the gold. Otherwise it would have been futile. So we must all be very careful and cautious where we go and, what we as- and whom we associate with. And uh, in the case of Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj, this is the gold trail, the gold path, the path of Gorasundar, of Goranga Mahaprabhu, the golden volcano. I would also like to uh, express uh, my gratitude on uh, the London devotees, my senior London devotees who have... Uh, taken me by the hand and led me to Srila Guru Maharaj. I heard Devashish Prabhu talking about Dorkesh Prabhu. And I remember him once uh, uh, distributing Srila Guru Maharaj's books in Portobello Road. And with great anxiety, he was telling me, you must go to Navadip. You don't know for how long Srila Guru Maharaj will be there. You must hurry, you must rush. And I saw the earnestness in, uh, in his eyes, and his vo- I heard his voice, and I did go. And I was uh, very lucky to do so. 
Srila Guru Maharaj is the expert on all subjects. I haven't heard him after 40 years of listening to his tapes. I haven't heard him say one thing that is not perfect and is not expert. He is wonderful. He is fantabulous. He is worshipable. He is adorable. He is the perfection in incarnate. I can't believe that unlucky me, I was so lucky, like all of us who have got his connection and all of you who will be receiving it in the future via the Rupanugadhara. So please be sincere, have a sincere attitude and uh, all auspiciousness and all good spiritual fortune will come to you. And uh, I would like to chant to you the Maha Mantra in Greek. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. <laughs> Hare Rama, oh. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, oh, Hare oh, Hare. Hey. Hey. Did it sound different? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, of course not, because it's the same. <laughs> Ma Mahaprabhu gave the Maha Mantra, for, which is the same all over the world, and it is all over the universe the same. So please chant it. It can't be easier. It can't be uh, more simple. We have no excuse for not doing it. And it is the jagna, the for the Kali Yuga. Hey. We expect it to do so. So my dandavats to everybody. And Jai Shila Guru Maharaj. Hey. And all Jai. his sincere devotees. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Jai Sri Pad Trilokanath Prabhu Ki Jai. Very beautiful, very sweet. And I think on that note, we should chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Yes, Maharaj. <laughs> Joy to have the congregational chanting of Guru Maharaj's glories, the chanting, congregational chanting of the Vaishnava's glories. Yes, Maharaj, let us have the congregational chanting of the Lord's holy names in their honor. Nama, as Babaji Maharaj like to quote, Nama Sankirtanam Yasya Sarva Papa Pranashanam Pranamo Dukha Samanas Tannamami Harim Param. The very last sloka of the Srimad Bhagavatam, singing of the glories of Nam Sankirtan, as Trilokanath Prabhu so eloquently expressed. Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rakak, Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, Abhirbha Mahamahodza Bhatiti Ki Dai. Om Vishnu Pad Vrishpa Varenya, Srila Bhakti Rakak, Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj, Sri Vyas Puja Titi Ki Dai. Nitai Go Primanande. Hari Harai Namo Krishna Yadavaya Namaha. Hari Harai Namo Krishna Yadavaya Yadavaya, Madavaya, Kesavaya, Namaha. Gopal, Govinda, Ram, Sri Madhusudan. Girid Hari, Gopinath, Madana, Moha. Sri Chaitanya Nityananda Sri Advaita Chandra Garadhara Sri Vasadi Gauravaka Vinda Jai Rupa Sanatan Vata Raguna Sri Jiva Gopala Vata Dasa Raguna E chai go chai kori choro no bondon Jaha hoi te vignanas abista puran E chai go chai jar muita odan 
Tanta bara padar in och mora på en sådan. Tander och tjara med sig vid bakstadsan i barn. Jana med jana med mora i avilan. Hey, chai, go, chai, chabe, braje, koi, lo, vaas. Pisi, radha, krishna, nitya, lila, kori, lo, prakash. Oh, anande, boro, hari, braja, binda, vaas. Shri, guru, vaishnava, pade, maja, iya, maan. Guru Vaishnava Pad Padma Koriyan Kori Nam San Kirtan Koe Narottamodan Hey Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Jai Gaur Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Hari Bo, Gaur Hari Bo. Jai Shri Bhakti Rakak Shri Dai Dev Goswami Maharaj Abhirbha Mahamahosa Bhati Ti Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Bhad Paramahansa Paribraja Kachar Jasa Teresa Dasri Shri Mahad Shri Bhakti Rakak Shri Dai Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shri Bhakti Sundar Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Bhagavan Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Thakur Shri Lagur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shri Shri Lagur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shri Shri Lagur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Pad Vaishnava Sarvabhama Shri Shri Lagur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj Ki Jai Shri Rupa Nuga Guru Varga Ki Jai Jai Saparikar Shri Shri Guru Garanga Gandharva Gurbinda Sundar Jiu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Navadip Tam Ki Jai Nama Charja Shri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Dvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gaur Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gop Govina Shamakunda Radha Kunda Giri Govardhan Ki Jai Vrindavan Dham Ki Jai Navadip Dham Ki Jai, Hapaniya Dham Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Sri Gupta Govardhan Ki Jai, Sri Govinda Kunda Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai, Om Vishnu Pad, Ganga Devi, Jamuna Devi, Bhakti Devi, Tulsi Devi Ki Jai, Om Vishnu Pad, Vishva Varenya, Sri Laesi, Bhakti Vedanta, Shami Prabhupada Ki Jai, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, Acharya Vrinda Ki Jai, Jai Shula Bhakti Nirmala Charja Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shula Bhakti Bhavan Janardhan Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shula Bhakti Kusum Ashram Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shula Bhakti Vijay Shivakram Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shula Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Shula Bhakti Bhimal Abhidut Maharaj Ki Jai Seva Vrinda Ki Jai Samaveda Bhakti Vrinda Ki Jai 
Srila Bhakti Rakak Sridhar Dev Goswami Maharaj Avir Bhav Mahamahut Bhatiti Ki Jai Sanyasi Vrindhi Ki Jai Seva Vrindhi Ki Jai Nithai Go Premanande Bhakti Suri Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Jai Maharaj Hare Krishna <laughs> So what's tomorrow? <laughs> oh, tomorrow is a new day, Maharaj. Let's all <laughs> gather together in front of the temple and it's all going to be a mystery. So right. please join. Right. Tomorrow we'll do something good as always we try to do, Maharaj. Jai Shri Kartik Mahesh Karikramal Ki Jai Shri Vrindavan Ki Jai and Vrindavan Saparika Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Gandhavika Rasa Bihari Ju Ki Jai. Jai. Navadeep Dham Ki Jai. Navadeep Shri Chaitanya. All the pictures. Gallery. Navadeep Shri Shri Guru Gauranga Gandhava Govinda Sundar Ju Ki Jai. All the devotees Ki Jai. One by one by one by one Ki Jai. Praise Krishna Prabhu Ki Jai. Gaur Bhakti Devi Ki Jai. Nityananda Das doing the Russian translation Ki Jai. Kamala Devi Ki Jai. So Lakshana doing the Chinese translation and published all the Guru Maharaj's books, translated them to Chinese. Ki Jai. Ravendra Krishna Prabhu, Shama Balabadiri Ki Jai, Ananda Sparu Prabhu, Chaitanya Moi, Dhananjaya Prabhu, Prem Narayan Prabhu, Anindita Devi Dasi, the Tomsk devotees in Siberia, Ram Sundar Prabhu, Abhinava Sundar Prabhu, Shamala Didi, Nityananda Ram Prabhu, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat in West London, Ki Jai, Supriya Didi in uh, China, Dandamat, Shakira Didi, I think in South Africa, Praneshri Devidasi, and before we heard from Sri Pad Bhakti Vigrahan Nyasi Maharaj, Ki Jai, Dandamat. So uh, we offer our obeisances to one and all, Trilokanath Prabhu, you spoke very beautifully. That was uh, certainly a highlight. And we're happy to hear the Maha Mantra in the Greek language. It's very beautiful. So, somehow extra sweet in Greek, I think we all agree. Vanchakalpa Trivyas Cha Kripa Sindhu Bevacha Pandita Devidasi Doivati Devidasi Chandrakanti Didi. Again in China, Banavi Didi. I think in Rome, right? Yes. Iravati Didi, Jai Sripad, Bhakti Seva, and Hrishikesh Maharaj, and all the Abadian devotees, Dandavat, Ragaleka Didi, Dandavat, Sophia Didi, Dandavat, Saraswati Didi, and Lakta, and Pritu Prabhu, Nalina Nayana Devidasi, Dandavat, and China, Kanupriya Didi, Odar Jalila, Dandavat. You're in Ukraine? Yes? Dandavat, yes. Nadia, Priya. Nadia Priya, Dandavat, Lila Sundar Prabhu, Bijayanti Didi, here, Supriya Didi, again, <laughs> Nanjai Kumar, Dina Dayal, Dandavat, and Charu Lata, and Tarun Krishna, Madhavi Lata Didi, in St. Petersburg, Purushottam Prabhu, in the Nectar Lake, <laughs> Dandavat, Somyasham Prabhu, Krishna Saki Didi, Dandavat, did I miss anyone? Dhyanatarini Didi, Subhashini Didi, Dandavat, Ajita Krishna Prabhu, Hare Krishna, and Kamalini Didi, Jai, Jan Janavi Didi, Dandavat, Hare Krishna, Udharan Das, Giridhari Das, Vedavita Yoga. Gurujit Hare Krishna, Balaram Das in Moscow, Dharini Sundari, Dandavat, Hare Krishna, Banchakalpa Tribhyascha Kripa Sindhu Vevata, Patitan Nam Pavanirabhyo, Vaishnavavyo, Namo Namaha, my Dandavat to one and all, Praneshri Didi included, Anandavat, Hare Krishna, Go from Anandi, <laughs> Hare Krishna. Ha, <laughs> ha,